Hello everybody. Uh, my name is Narendra Kumar and we are from Narendra Academy. And today we'll come to the climax of specific heat concept. We understood what is specific heat. I don't have to repeat it. We have repeated it so many times. We applied it to method of mixtures. Now what remains is how to measure the specific heat of a particular solid whose specific heat we don't know. So this is a complete lab uh, lab kind of thing. Um, this is very um, this is lab activity actually. This is lab activity. So we'll read it out and you can do it in the lab. It's very simple. It's very straightforward. It's very straightforward because we have understood the concept. If you understand the concept deeply, keep on questioning, 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 get the root of it. Everything becomes simple. Aim to find the specific heat of a given solid. Okay. Materials required calorimeter, thermometer, stirrer, stirrer, what you stir, water, steam, heater, wooden box and lead shots, lead shots. Procedure. Measure the mass of the calorimeter along with stirrer. So, mass of the calorimeter, mass, I'll write in short form, mass of the calorimeter along with stirrer. You measure it. You can call it M1. It will be some value. Now, fill one third of the volume of calorimeter with water. Measure its mass and temperature. So, measure its mass and temperature. Mass of the calorimeter. So, mass of calorimeter plus water is equal to m2 and mass of water will be how much obviously it will be m2 minus m1 temperature of water in calorimeter what is the temperature of water in calorimeter let's say it's t1 temperature of water in calorimeter is equal to t1 note Calorimeter and water are at the same temperature. Now, take a few lead shots and place them in hot water or steam heater. Heat them up to a temperature of 100 degrees centigrade. So, take some lead shots and heat them to 100 degrees. Let that temperature be T2. So, we have T2 also. Okay. Temperature of lead shots. Lead shots, 100 degrees centigrade. Transfer the hot lead shots quickly. The loss of heat should not happen quickly into the calorimeter with minimum loss of heat. You will notice that the mixtures, mixture of what will happen settles to a certain temperature. So, water temperature will rise, the less short temperature settles to a certain temperature after some time. Measure this temperature T3. So, T3 is the final temperature and mass of the calor calorimeter along with contents water and lead shots. So, now we have third mass, mass of calorimeter. Uh, along with contents. So, that is mass of calorimeter along with contents is equal to M3. Mass of the lead shots will be, so what is the mass of the lead shots? Mass of the lead shots will be M3 minus M2, obviously. Since there is no loss of heat to the surroundings, we can assume that the entire heat lost by the solid, that means lead shorts, is transferred to the calorimeter and water to reach the final temperature. Let the specific heats of the calorimeter, lead shorts and water be SC, SW and S, now he has used SL. So, this is a specific heat of calorimeter, specific heat of water and specific heat of lead. Respectively. According to the method of mixtures, we know heat loss by the solid uh, is heat gained by the calorimeter plus heat gained by the water. Simple. So, M2 minus uh, heat loss by the solid is how much? M3 minus M2. M3 minus M2. This one. Into SL because we are talking about lead shots. Into temperature T2 minus T3. T2 minus T3. T2 is that 100 degrees centigrade and T3 is equal to is equal to m1 m1 uh, heat gain by the calorimeter this is about for the calorimeter for this for the color m1 so mass mass of calorimeter plus specific heat of calorimeter into t3 minus t1 final minus t1 only purely calorimeter then m2 uh, minus m1 purely water this is for water okay 
m2 minus m1 sw t3 minus t1 s of water again t3 minus t1 so finally you got a big equation like this i'll put it here sl is equal to i'll put it here in this box sl is equal to m1 sc plus m2 minus m1 sw plus m2 minus m1 sw and put this whole thing in one bracket into t3 minus t1 into t3 minus t1 is just simple algebra divided by whole divided by m3 minus m2 m3 minus m2 into m3 minus m2 into t2 minus t3 t2 minus t3 so this is the specific heat of the lead shots what was the purpose of the whole thing to find the specific heat of the lead shots this is so straightforward it's just temperature differences and all that so it's very straightforward algebraic equation any problem even a very high level iit problem you can do this very easily if you understand the concept knowing the specific heats of calorimeter we know the specific heat of calorimeter and water we can calculate the specific heat of the solid so what do we need to know we need to know the specific heat of calorimeter this we know this we know this we need to know this specific heat of water we know this 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 then we can know the specific heat of a particular solid how nice how neat it is so it is we are we are using the relationships the exact concept and finding out the specific heat of any any substance is very important to find the specific heat of a substance we we should know its, its behavior and we should be able to measure it we can't say just it's like it's got high or low exactly how much that's why we need units that's the beauty of the combination of physics and mathematics in a very simple way okay so that completes next we have very core concepts like evaporation condensation boiling boiling melting freezing and that will complete the chapter of heat we will do that in the coming lessons thank you so much my name is narendra kumar and we are from narendra academy thank you so much